you guessed it, we're on our way to Japan. Let's go. Konnichiwa, everybody. We are headed back to Japan. And thanks to MRE Mountain, I was able to get a set of these canned Type 1 JSDF rations, which is pretty outstanding on its own. If you haven't seen these before, RC Gusto already has a review out there. These are the older type of rations, these canned rations. And as far as I know from talking with Laughing Man on MREinfo.com, this is the last year or production year for these particular canned rations. From now on, it will be on the retort packages or flexible cans that I have reviewed uh, before. So let's take a look at these things and find out what's inside of these cans. Now, ordinarily, you would get a vegetable or something like that. This happens to be trout with vegetables. Not an overly huge can, probably about... I don't know, it says 100 grams on there. And this is chicken with vegetable, probably 100 grams again, it's the same size. Now you kind of get a larger unit as well. And this too is, you guessed it, chicken with vegetable. And then lastly, you get the big mamma jamma. And this big one is 355 grams, and this is chicken in boiled rice. It's not a complete menu as menus go. A lot of them have vegetable along with them. Uh, down in the description box, there will be a link to a website that has the complete menus as far as these Type 1 canned rations. And to round this off, I still have some of these canned pan crackers with the little star candies there. I believe they're Conpetto candies. Now, also as a note of caution, you can read this disclaimer right here. Well, if you're Japanese, maybe you can read it. This needs to be placed in hot water, not boiling water, but hot water for 25 minutes. So let's get this stuff heated up. Now, since this isn't a complete ration or like an authentic right out of the box ration, I don't feel so bad about adding a few things to it. Like I've got some of this uh, roasted seaweed that I really happen to like, and I've also got some of this uh, rice spice mix. And I'll stick a few of these compound crackers down here, just for that texture crunch. And then we've got some of these little star candies, so essentially just uh, really hard sugar. So a couple of those. And then I guess to go with it right well, it's a nice little mug of warm tea. And these cans are pretty hot, so instead of using that little P38 thing that uh, RC Gusto did, cut up his knuckles, I am going to use a regular can opener. So here is that chicken and boiled rice. Looks pretty good. It smells good. However, it does smell a little bland. And I got this awesome thing from Drew78 off Emory Info. <laughs> Emory Info, those people there are so generous as well as this ration community. And this is 355 grams of this. It is huge. Just trying to get all of this out of here. See, it's nice and hot. It's steamy. Uh, and I still have a ton left in there. And then this is the larger of the two cans of chicken with vegetables. Wow, you can even see the skin on there. Uh, let me get the spoon cleared off real quick. And I actually believe these are supposed to be like chicken giblets. Oh, you see some sauce coming out of there. Oh, a little bit of vegetable. Wow. Looks like there's a little bit of pepper, a little bit of seasoning. I don't know exactly what kind of vegetable that is, but we'll try to find out. And then this one is a smaller can. You see we got some carrot in there, a little bit of mushroom. Oh, that's getting hot. Pour that out. And we still have some fairly generous size hunks of chicken. And I think this might be some water chestnut, and this might be lotus root. I think that's what that might be. And this last can is trout with vegetables, and it does have a large uh, chunk of fish in there, and it definitely has that fishy smell. Looks very pretty in just its presentation for a field ration. Mm. 
Oh, that's really nice too. It's got a, it's got the skin still on it. Oh, that's going to be, that is going to be delish. And just so it can add a little salty, I'm going to add a few of these roasted sheets of seaweed. And it comes in a nice little pack like this, so you can just slide one or two sheets off and get that saltiness. All right, let's crack into this. Let's do this. Now, the rice is very sticky, as you would expect for a Japanese ration, so you can eat it with uh, chopsticks or whatever utensil you have. And you can see it does leave a residue of that starchiness on there. And I'm not really good with chopsticks, but I will give it a try. And you see it holds together really nice, so you can get it up. Ordinarily, your bowl would be a lot closer, uh, or your mouth would be closer to your, your bowl. There is a slight flavoring, kind of like there was like a, you know, a little bit of chicken stock in here. Let's try to grab a little piece of chicken so you can see it. Horrible with chopstick etiquette. Uh, it is kind of hard to see. The chicken is a little tough, but I think leaving it in that water for 25 minutes really kind of really kind of helps to soften it up a little bit. And as far as ration goes or, or long-term storage, I would rather my chicken be overdone than, than underdone where I could get sick. And then we have the chicken or giblets and vegetables. Mmm, definitely need some help. That giblet was just a big old hunk of chicken liver. Any meat that you eat that turns into kind of like sand in your mouth is just not all that awesome to me. It does have, I don't, it's like almost as like a soy sauce in here. Let's grab a little bit of this one with the skin and give that a try. And that was very tender. It, it, it all smooth. It has a nice sauce, a little bit of salty, kind of sweet, maybe a little fish sauce in there. It's very fragrant, very pleasant. I just don't know exactly what these, what these vegetables are. And I'm sure somebody out there will leave a comment below just to advise me what they are. But they are quite tasty. Moving on along to our trout, of course. I was going to make sure I heated this up because seafood you have to be careful about with a ration. But this is a literally just a, a slice of this fish or this trout. I don't know. I, I don't think there's going to be any bones in here, but let's give that a try. It's a little dry, has some smokiness to it. Looks like it's just it was just packed in a little bit of oil. Let's try some of these vegetables. Grab a carrot in here too. And I'm curious what this animal is. I don't know. Maybe seaweed. That's probably what it is. Man, if you had this for your main, that would be awesome. Just a little bit of rice added with it. Oh man, that would be good. Very, very tasty. And then lastly, we have our third chicken dish. It's chicken with vegetables. And this, you can still see the skin on there. Pluck them feathers right off this bad boy. Let's give that a try. So, try some of these veggies. I think this is the lotus root right here. Uh, my failing of chopsticks. Yeah, I think that's lotus. Yeah, very similar to potato. And then we got this mushroom over here. It's very tasty. You can see there's a, looks like a little bit of soy in here or fish sauce. It's not very salty. In fact, the flavors are very mild. So, if you wanted to add some spices or some seasoning or you wanted to add some red pepper to to uh, give it a little bit of heat you pretty much do anything that you wanted with this ration just head right back over here real quick and kind of mix all these flavors together that I've still got floating around in my palate pretty good stuff then you have the compound crackers these things are pretty tasty a little bit of a little bit of crunch Something different, because all of this is very, very soft. And something like this could really go a long way to uh, just adding that extra bit of texture to your meal. And they call these cookies or crackers because in a, ordinarily in a ration, you get a little small tube of orange spread that you can place on that. And Laughing Man sent one to me originally when he first sent me my first batch of rations from Japan. But unfortunately, as soon as you open that stuff up, you pretty much have to use it within uh you know at least a couple of weeks 
before it starts turning bad a little bit, so I had to toss that out. I'm going to just try some of the seaweed, just so I said that I did. And it just provides a whole lot of bit of saltiness to this. And inside of here is just essentially just uh, flour and some sesame seeds. But boy, this stuff is nice and salty. And then at the conclusion of your meal, for that little sweetness, for that little boost of energy, you could have your uh, Compito uh, little candy. It's just a hard sugar candy. It's incredibly sweet, incredibly has a, a sugar rush like none other. And I'm sure it's, it's probably uh, better off just to kind of like suck them down, kind of like a lollipop or something like that, just to get that slow release of that sugar instead of just crunching it at one time. Because they can be a little tough. And uh, from talking with some people, they call them little my little jawbreakers. But overall, pretty darn good. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of this furikake rice seasoning just on part of our boiled rice. And I'm, I could not get this thing to translate. <laughs> and I can't tell what is what on here anymore. I used to have a nice little uh, label. And I'm hoping that this is the wasabi blend, which I don't think it is. Looks like it's seaweed, which is no big deal because that's what 99% of this is, is seaweed. Oh, man, this is going to be tasty. And all this does, it just adds a whole uh, another flavor component and edge to your rice for your pleasure of your meal. And it looks like I chose right. It's got a little bit of heat from, like, wasabi. The saltiness just brings out this rice. Ah, oh, it's very tasty. And it's really mild, too. Just that slightest bit of heat comes up through the back of your nose when you start chowing down on this stuff. Oh, it's really good. Okay, everybody, this was a review of a Japanese self-defense force ration. It was a Type 1 canned ration, or canned meshi. Thank you very much to... Emery Mountain for sending this to me. I super appreciate it. I'll have a small link in the description box. He is a huge seller of international MREs. So check him out. And also, huge thank you to the Laughing Man for having such a great resource website so you can tell what all of this great stuff is. I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did. I know I'm looking forward to sampling a little more. And I'm sure the MRE Taster Dogs can't wait for their cut as well. So I will see you all on my next review. Bye. This was a review of a Japanese self-divorce, self-divorce, <laughs> self-divorce, oh man.